I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis. Today, we have something sort of unique and special on the channel. This is new from HJLRC. It is the Petrol 120X. There are three different versions of this little analog mini ripper. Now, it does have front and back braces on here, true X design, but there's a one and two S version, which is just over $100. There is a 3 and 4S version, and also a 3 to 6S version. So a lot of different choices here. The most expensive one, I believe, was the 4S version, maybe because of the difference in motors. We have a difference in the KV on the motors. Uh, I believe they were around uh, 4,000 range for the 4S version. And these little guys are 2,500 KVs for the 6S version. So three inch gym fan props on here. We have the Ant 1000 TVL camera, which is also a great camera. And I have TBS Crossfire on here that we're gonna fly with my TBS Crossfire Tango 2. So we're gonna take this out to the field and have some fun on a 6S 450 milliamp battery, which should get you an upwards of six minutes flight time. If you go up a little bit, run something as large as an 850, you can probably get eight minutes flight time and still be well under 250 grams. I mean, we're gonna be rocking something today that's gonna to have a great power to weight ratio and has an ultra smooth tune on here. So let's go ahead out now and let's, let's rip with a little petrol. New series of petrols, super exciting. Here we go, let's enjoy some flying. After that, we'll come back in, take a little closer look at this on the bench. Here we go.
All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test. That was a lot of fun. What did you guys think about the footage? I, I feel like the tune on here is decent out of the box. It is a good tune for a factory tune. And HJLRC lately has been sending me quads that I didn't need to tune. Now, some other companies out there have some quads they send me that sometimes I need to share my own special PID tune on. And this is not the one, so that's nice that the Petra 120X comes ready to go. We have uh, 6S option on this one. If you also want to buy the 6S one and fly it on 4S, you absolutely can. People ask me about that all the time. Um, now this one also has, you'll notice, not a very tall stack on here. We have a single layer stack there. And just above that, we have that 350 milliwatt VTX that's brand new from HJLRC. They also making a taller canopy for this, I believe available soon for DJI. If you want to put CADEX on this little guy, you absolutely could. The Vista will fit on here with the taller canopy. And this one comes in around, uh, I believe, around $150. This, the, the 4S version is $169. Um, no, I'm wrong. This one's $165.99. And the 1 and 2S version of the Petra was $134. So that one has a Zeus all-in-one flight controller that only has around 5 amp for the 1S and 2S version. So, um, the 6S version, just going to double check on the ESCs on that for you. Those should be in upwards of 30 to 35 amp for those. 1303 motors, 2500 kV brushless motors with four bolts on the bottom. And we have a solid front bar and back bar. This is nice for racing in case you hit a gate if you're racing micros. You got a little shark fin up here for turtle mode. Right hand circular polarized HGLRC hammer antenna. And I've seen these before. Those are nice. And it does appear to have some flex, so when you crash, it's not going to snap off. And this VTX also, I have to report that. If you go back and look at the footage again, you'll see some horizontal lines in the mix. And I always do honest reviews. And I had to move this cable around in here a few times to get it to stop having so much static. And it worked great for a few flights, but then I had to move it again because it seems like However, I have stuff in here, it seems like there's going to be some interference, and I'm not quite sure why. I didn't build this quad, so I'm not really sure what kind of wiring they have up inside here, but I believe that something is too close to a power input source. So if you have your video wires, you see these yellow wires here, if they're too close to some power source like this, or even maybe over close where the ESCs are soldered on, sometimes you can get some feedback, and something's occurring somewhere in there. But this is snapped onto that VTX with a UFL connector, and the camera is soldered down to this guy, I believe. So, um, and you can unplug it if you had a camera blowout. So you can replace this camera. It's a Cadex Ant and a nice quality camera, 1000 TVO. Very hard ABS canopy on the very top here with some venting on the side, adjustable up to about 35 to 40 degrees. I don't put a whole lot of tilt, but if you go super high, you will see this shroud up here. So that's one thing to think about here. We've got dampening on each four of those posts. The USB port was really easy to get to. We've got our capacitor back here. And if you fly yours, you want to take a zip tie and just zip tie off this power cable to the arm so that this doesn't get yanked off your flight controller. That's really important. XT30 there, our gem fan props with two bolts on the top. And the 1305 2500 kV motors. And the other motors were 4800 kV, by the way. If you're looking for the 4S version, it's 1400, uh, 4800 kV. And I have flown these props before. They perform great. They're really, really nice. And these are 3018 3 inch props. I'll put some links down below for these. I'll put some links down below for the three different versions of this one. And as well as my battery choices for 6S. So six smaller 6S batteries are kind of like little unicorns. They're kind of hard to find. So um, GMB does make some of those 6S 450s. And hopefully uh, BG or somebody else has those in stock. But quite a cool series. I'd like to try to fly the 1 and 2S version because um, I think that would be a lot of fun. Now inside the box you also do get a few extras, you get the HGLRC Zeus all-in-one flight controller manual, and 
this is where all the pinouts are for hooking up everything your new Zeus VTX there and again that one's running 350 milliwatt and how the camera's soldered down your motor layout one two three four as usual in beta flight and I believe the props are reversed on this guy so there are props out yep and we have the boot button there it tells us the specs on 25.5 millimeters and this one said that this is the 1 to 2 S version but that particular board would not support 6S so um, it's interesting that they put this manual in my box but um, I do have the 6S version and there appears to be a little bit larger strap in here too because some of you guys might be running something like uh, an 850 so if you want to run an 850 you'll need a little bit larger strap but you do get two choices of strap inside the box and as always you get some HJLRC stickers which is cool and this is one of those quieter quads that you could kind of fly just about anywhere a baseball field um, it will fly really fast so if you take it to a park just be sure that you're not flying around kids or anything but I like this unibody frame it makes everything a little bit lighter, reduces some of the bolts on here, and reducing hardware makes this little guy so much lighter. And honestly, if you want kind of a, a little long range cruiser, this one's not bad for long range stuff because with that 6S battery, you can get a pretty good flight time out of it. And the quad by itself is extremely light. It said on the website around 75 grams, but it looks like with the receiver on there, it looks like 76.6 with the TBS Nano. So that's what I would recommend because with that 6S, uh, 450 all the way up to 850, 856 S might be getting kind of heavy, but I think you could get away with a 550 to 650 and you could pull out with eight minute flight time. So you can get pretty far out there on 350 milliwatt running a 650 battery. Um, definitely eight minutes or more you just have to figure out where your lowest endpoint of the throttle is and just keep that nose up and keep cruising but the tune on here is nice it freestyles and it's kind of a mini long-range cruiser if you want with tbs crossfire so it has a lot of duality to it um, it's not a cinema rig by any means but it's just a, a quad that you can really l learn acro on if you're just getting started or learn some of those power loops without such big consequences like a five inch quad has. So kind of a cool update to uh, a series that I have seen before, um, very similar series in the HGLRC arsenal. So this is cool to see this one come through. And as soon as I opened the, the box and saw this little guy was 6S, I got super excited. So I recommend getting the 6S version, guys, um, even over the 4S or the 1 or 2S. Um, even to start out, if this is like your second quad or something, this would be a blaster and tons of fun. So thanks again for hanging out, guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one. Please do subscribe on the channel for more drone reviews coming up and to see what's new in the hobby market. Guys, take care. Stay humble and be kind.